Have you ever been on a mission trip or done community service? Well, there are so many ways to do so. Such as, if you want to go to, there are, you can go to a local school, or you can go right down the street to Mission Arlington or Arlington Life Shelter. Or you can even help out at a local food shelter. But if you want to do something long-term long and impacts the community more, mission trips are for you. There are many benefits of doing community service and going on mission trips, such as making new friends, learning new language if you're going out of the country, that feel-good feeling after you help someone, the exercise as you get out and help, uh, teamwork as you grow with your work team, and my personal benefit has helped me grow my faith with God. But along with the benefits that hit you right then and there, there come many benefits for the future, such as scholarships. Colleges are always looking for more creative and more helpful people, and this can help you get into college. There, along with these benefits, there come many hurdles, like money and time. But my personal hurdle has been my anxiety. Whenever I get, whenever, before I go somewhere, I always get so anxious and think about all the bad things. But thinking about all the good that I'm doing, I'm able to overcome this. But there are many solutions to money and time too. You don't have to spend a week on mission trips when you can just go right down the street to Mission Island. And you can work for that money, walking dogs and mowing lawns. But someone who's helped out in the community in many ways is Mother Teresa. Growing up, she saw the need of those in poverty at a young age. And she, she was struck with the disease tuberculosis. But that didn't stop her. In 1948, she started the Missionaries of Charity. And in 1979, she won the Nobel Peace Prize for all of her works. And this September, she's going to be made a saint by the Catholic Church. Another person who has helped out in the community is Dikembe Mutombo. He was born in a very poor family in the Congo. But after 18 years in the NBA, he started the Dikembe Mutombo Foundation, and he has built a hospital in the Congo and helps, helps the people in the Congo who, do, who can't afford health care. But like the Dikembe Mutombo Foundation, there are other, many other organizations that help out in the community, community like CTCYN, the Central Texas Conference for Youth and Mission. I've gone on two mission trips with this group, and I plan to go on three more this year. One to Clyde, Texas, one to Newport, Arkansas, and one to Guatemala. But you may be asking yourself, will I be the only one on this mission trip? Am I going to be the loner? Well, James Eames, a psychology professor at Catholic University in Washington, D.C., says in the 60s and 70s, teens were activists against tradition. In the 80s, there was an apathetic generation. And in the 90s and 2000s, teens out there thought that they should have a helping hand in giving back. And this is why they're just stay popular. You, may, you also may be asking yourself, what will I do on these mission trips? Well, it all depends on where you're going. If you're going somewhere local in the United States, you could be just making dinner for a family in the hospital, handing out flyers for an organization. You could be painting your neighbor's house or building a bench for the local park. But if you're going somewhere international, you could be doing these things, like going to orphanages, loving and caring for children. You could be food packing and handing out bags of food to people on the streets. Or you could be helping build local schools or houses. These are all the things that I will be doing when I'm going to Guatemala this December. So imagine a child without, with only the clothes on his back, no food, no family, and no home. And now imagine you handing that child some food. Take advantage of all these opportunities and have someone lean on you.